In this screencast, I'm going to talk a little bit about the supply side of the market. And here I've got a picture of a, a Pakistani uh, vegetable vendor. And to use supply demand analysis, we're making an assumption that there's many, many buyers, many, many sellers. And uh, if, we've, if we don't have those conditions met, we need something other than this competitive market structure. We'll, we'll come back and derive the competitive market conditions a little more carefully and the competitive market supply a little more carefully in a uh, couple weeks. But uh, for now, we're, we're waving at our, our hands at some of the finer points and just let's talk about supply. Um, and, and this Pakistani vendor is no doubt one of many, many in a, in a street market and, and there's many, many passers-by buying uh, vegetables so that satisfies that condition. Let's, let's think about the technical analysis of the... Uh, supply function. Um, all right, here I've got this blank screen, and, and again, for supply, we've got a pair of axes. Again, we have quantity demanded on the horizontal, price on the vertical. Again, it doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense. Uh, you'll see I'll talk about quantity supplied as the dependent variable, and in a lot of math, math functions, we put the dependent variable on the on the vertical axis, but not here by tradition. You're just stuck with it. Sorry if it bugs you. It sometimes bugs me too. All right, let's. Uh, we had that veggie uh, vendor. Let's talk about the market for cucumbers in Pakistan in 2014. I just realized that I didn't look up the currency for Pakistan. Let's say it's rupees. That's that's India, but let's just say it's rupees. Rupees per pound of cucumbers, and this will be thousand pounds of cucumbers per. Actually, I guess I can go there. That's a traditional abbreviation per year. All right, supply. The, the main thing we believe to be true, certainly in the short run, about supply is that at low prices, producers are going to supply relatively small amounts. But as price rises, we suppose that in general, in the short run, that increase in price is going to enable existing producers to produce more. It's going to draw some new producers in. Actually, I know from my garden, you can actually get cucumbers to grow in just a, a few weeks' time in the summertime here. Maybe it's true in Pakistan, too. Anyway, uh, so price goes up more and more. So it's notice that, notice a couple things here. One is that price on the vertical, quantity on the horizontal is going to give me the same units for, and, and structure for the analysis of supply as I had for demand. So that's going to turn out to be really convenient when we put the two together in the next screencast. Um, the other thing to notice, well, let's, let's stop there. Let me, let me talk a little bit about why the supply curve slopes up. Uh, one thing is the, the low-hanging fruit principle. Here we might call it the easily grown cucumber uh, principle. Actually, is cucumber one of those vegetables like tomato that technically is a fruit? I have no idea. I think it's, it's technically a melon or something crazy like that. But anyway, the, let's say Pakistan, it's really easy to grow cucumbers right next to the river, you know, there's fertile soil, there's easy water, and you just have to throw a couple seeds down, cucumbers come up. At a low price, maybe you're not going to make a ton of effort, but you may as well throw those seeds down, get whatever cucumbers come up, take them to market. So at a low price, you're willing to do that and, and supply the easy, easily grown uh, cucumbers to market. Well, if, if the price of cucumbers goes up, well, maybe you'll use one of your children to go out and weed a little bit, and you'll gather up some you know, goat dung. I, you know, down here at B Street, they're 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 great at 
uh, using natural fertilizer, and it's, I think, healthier than inorganic. And I imagine in Pakistan, they'd be pretty good at that, too. So you're going to put some fertilizer on and, and get, get, it, get some more plants. And, you know, price goes up still more. Well, maybe you'll, you'll be willing to carry the water a little distance away from the river and use more land uh, to grow, et, et cetera. And, and so price goes up. It, it makes sense to grow the cucumbers that take more effort to grow. But at low prices, you'd never think about that because it's your opportunity cost of those resources is just too high to justify bringing those to market. And I guess the other, the other uh, thing to mention, the other reason we get a, this upward slope in nature, we, we find that as price rises, more sellers are going to enter the market. So sellers, remember, have their own reservation prices. And it has to do with the fact that some sellers can get a crop of cucumbers to grow really easily. They have land right by the river. It's very fertile, etc. Other growers may be further away from the river. Maybe they don't have as rich a soil. Maybe they have a, a black thumb instead of green thumb. But, um, so it's harder for them. But as the price rises, some of those, those cucumber sellers will grow cucumbers instead of what, doing whatever else they were doing because the, the price has risen above their seller's reservation price. So in the long and short of it is that in the short run, we get this upward sloping supply function. Long run, we're going to see later in the course, supply might be flat, uh, supply might be downward sloping, could be upward sloping too, but that's we're, we're going to conduct short run analysis for now. Short run, you know, a year or two, depending on the market. If, if you're a vendor in the Forest Grove uh, farmer's market, short, the long run might be two days. But um, if you're a hot dog food stand at a corner in a city, that's, you know, three days might be the, the long run. But for a lot of farmers, it's one growing season, one, uh, one year. Um, for autos, it's five years, maybe more, before you can adjust your plant size. Um, anyway, we'll talk about that in a few weeks. Made with DoodleCast Pro.